Don't let the start stop you. Hey there, welcome to My Epic Journey. This is Brandon DeVere. Thank you, as always, for tuning in and sharing your time with me. I do appreciate that. Here we are on the journey from 600 to zero to 600 plus and everything that falls in between. Uh, so don't let the start stop you. So one of my good friends, Tony, um, one of my best friends from, from back home, known him forever, got to see him uh, last uh, last time. I was just up in Washington, but you know, he, he said a quote to me at one point, uh, he didn't, he didn't make it up. I'm not saying that, uh, but he, he said, don't let the start stop you. And that was really interesting to me. And, and honestly, why I do the things kind of a lot of things, the way that I do, especially like this podcast. So, uh, you know, one of the things is when we, when we try to, to have some sort of growth, whether it's, you know, we're on a weight loss journey or we are trying to, you know, get better at something. Um, a lot of times, you know, for instance, like 75 hard, like it's not called 75 easy cause it's easy. Right. And it's also limited to 75 days because it's very difficult to, to continue. Uh, most people can't make it the, even the 75 days. Uh, but, but part of the thing is you try, like you try to do so much at once. And also you're looking for like ideal conditions. And a lot of times these ideal conditions, don't, don't exist. Um, and, and if we wait for those, then there's something else always going to pop up and be like, Oh, well, you know what? I'm, I'll do that. But first I need this. I'll do that. But first I need this. And you know, one of the, the things to go along with that, like, you know, Hey, I want to lose some weight. So I need to go get a gym membership. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait till the end of the month. So I don't have to pay for half a month or, uh, you know, what, whatever it is, you know, it's, it's, just, or, or, you know, I don't have the right protein yet, or I, I'm going to do this. It's an, you know, they're like body for life. I don't know where it's at, but there's a thing. It's an 80, 40 calendar. Well, I, I got to schedule out. So I'm going to do it instead of just starting, right. Just instead of going, we have this thing that we get so, so overwhelmed by how to get started that we just don't even do it. So then we just, we just stop. So, um, that's what he means by, you know, how don't let the, don't let the start stop you. Don't make it so, so difficult. So there is a, um, Dr. Gary Brecka, I'm sure I've mentioned him on here before, but he has a, this plan that he talks about for, for fat loss essentially. And it's, it's pretty simple. It's, it, there's like th three rules to it. It's called the 30, 30, 30 plan. So it's within 30 minutes, hit 30 grams of protein and go for a walk for 30 minutes. Like that's, he said, do that for a month and you, your, you know, your life will change. So, you know, I, I try to do that as, as much as possible. Um, in, and just, just get something out there. Cause also when I go on my walks in the morning, like I'll listen to either like a training, a coaching, a podcast. Um, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll listen to music, but usually it's like a podcast. I'm going to get my mind going in the morning. Uh, but the, the 30, 30, 30, it's not about, okay, you're going to knock out, you know, you have to do two workouts today and you have to drink a, you know, eight gallons of water. You're not to do all these things. It's just wake up, I, for me, I have a protein drink. I'm not really, I really don't like to eat that much in the morning, but so I go wake up protein drink and go for a walk. Just like walk outside. It's, there's no, all right, what's my workout plan going to be? What's this? What's that? the hardest thing is deciding what I'm going to listen to. So just doing that. Um, and just by having that simple thing, like I, I do feel better after, after doing it, <clears throat> but, um, you know, it, it reminded me of again, why I'll, I'll get back here in a second. Why, you know, you've, you've heard me talk about me doing this, uh, the podcast, the way that I do it. But one of the, uh, one of the things that I, I remember, cause I was teaching back in 2019, I started teaching how to, how to create or how to start a podcast for real estate agents. And I was doing it more locally. And my goal was, um, to start off for 2020 to do 52. Cause I wanted to do one a week, uh, for, uh, for agents throughout, you know, throughout the city. And they're all going to be in, in Las Vegas. You know, I was doing them at, uh, title companies, uh, mortgage companies. I did some, at some other, uh, real estate offices, but 2020 hit, obviously we got kind of shut down and, and everything. So I did a couple of them online. Uh, but the biggest questions that I would get all the time were like, Hey, what mic do I need? Or, you know, what software, what program are you using? What the, like all these different things that really didn't matter right? It, it's not, we weren't setting up. The idea was not to set up like a massive <clears throat> production, right? It was to get your voice out there, to get people to know who you are. Because one of the biggest challenges I see when people put their content out is it's like, especially for real estate agents, you know, I'll speak specifically for real estate agents because that's the industry that we're in is it's so real estate heavy 
that your audience is not interested for the majority of, of what you're talking about. So if, if I know it's a little bit longer now um, with where rates are at and things like that, but typically people around the country move pretty consistently on every five to seven years, right? So if your content is constantly and consistently about the real estate market and only the market, and that's all you ever talk about, then your, your content is relevant to your audience, audience only once every five to seven years. So you're just, they're, they're falling off, they're falling off. So the idea was to get your content out. You're talking to people. We talk about, you know, I've talked on here about my, my mother, my father, you know, my son, my daughter graduating, my friend just passed away, things, all, all that kind of stuff. And people have the chance to get to know who you are through that, <clears throat> through that way. So having the best mic, having the best, like, again, this background here is, was $500 or less. And you don't need to, you don't need to do any of this. <laughs> It was something that I chose to do, um, but you don't need to do, to do any of this. Um, you can do very, very simple, you know, go on Timu and get some lighting. Like for 10 bucks, you can have these two blue lights that are on the side, 10 bucks, Timu, like super, super simple. Um, and, and so uh, what happens is people would, would stop, not want to not get, not start it because they're waiting for the, like the perfect conditions uh, for it to happen. So. Anyways, um, the, <clears throat> the point I'm trying to make is that like, you don't need to have the most ideal, perfect, you don't have to have the perfect microphone. You've seen this, the mic I've, I've shared it before, 60, 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. You don't need it. You can use your AirPods. You can use your, your microphone from your phone. It, I've done that a couple times on here because I accidentally plugged in the wrong mic or, or plugged the mic into the, to the wrong, um, to the wrong outlet. So I did So it recorded me from my phone, which was fine. Like you have in your, in your hand, which you may be watching the um the this episode right now with a device that you could record on your own and so when i got all those excuses that's why i decided to do it this way and not go get hey i got an angle here an angle here uh four different three different cameras you know lights everywhere i do have lights i have a ring light that was 20 bucks maybe and then i have one of the umbrella lights here <clears throat> that that was part of a package that i bought years ago so uh so you can get these things but don't let not having these things stop you. And one of the things, um, again, I bring up Brian Crowther's book often, um, Building an Empire, where he talks about if it doesn't duplicate, it doesn't matter. Like if, if I'm wanting to do this so other people can share, I can't have the top of the line equipment because I can't expect anyone listening to this that wants to do the same to go out and, and, and get that stuff. Right now, I know that you have a device that you could record on and do the same thing. Again, using my iPhone, iPhone 15 I have, um, and it's not even the special three camera one. It's got two, I'm looking at it right now, it's got two cameras, <laughs> but or two lenses, right? Um, and so the idea of don't let the stop start you, like think about that and in, in whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're, whether it's it's even writing, like I, I started writing, in 2016 I think, I got into a group, <clears throat> storytelling group, and it was storytelling and podcasting, that's how I got into, into all this stuff. And I wrote a story and it was, and I'm actually writing this story on that I'll, I'll post on Facebook as well, but I wrote a story and it was, I posted it and everyone was like, um, are you okay? Are you okay? Like I didn't have the perfect conditions. I wrote it. I was actually at the airport getting ready to leave. And I sat there with, with the, my laptop open, the story all in Facebook. And I say short story, but, but for Facebook is long form. Like I, I was writing I've have a couple hundred long form posts on like on Facebook that are, that are story, uh, story based, but I sat there with the, <laughs> with the, um, the laptop open and I just sat there just staring at it. Like so nervous. I was so nervous to send it out and I, I hit it as soon as it went send or I hit, or I hit, or I hit send, uh, or post. And as soon as it, you know, loads up and went, you know, you're posted, I shut my laptop and, and put my uh, computer in my bag and didn't even look at it was hours I mean, it was after i landed before i even wanted to take a look to see what people were saying because i was so nervous um but the reality was like that was probably my my first step into you know if you're talk about like done is better than perfect um like it, like getting thing but that was probably my first taste of just put it out there and the the result i got from that was insane like as far as no i got a bunch of posts i got a bunch of people like texting me on the side, hey, are you okay? Because I got very vulnerable and, and personable and personal. And so, but the, it was like the message is much, so even for yourself, the message and your story is way more powerful and the way more, if, if, 
if people are relating to your story, they're not going to care about like, I don't know if you saw, and I saw this in the, in the camera a second ago, there was some, who knows, I have huskies. It could be their hair flight float, or floating around, but something came flo floating over here. Right. I'm not going to go start this whole thing over. Like that, there's a past me that would have been like, Oh man, did you see that just came on there? There's a past me that, that would have went back and been like, Oh man, I can't, I can't post this. This is, it's not perfect. It's not exactly how it was supposed to be. We have this thing floating around. Uh, for instance, I've, you know, you, I just mentioned the, when I accidentally plugged in the, in the microphone to the, uh, to the wrong, um, wrong cord and it came out and the audio wasn't great. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough for me to be like, I can't post this. The one that I haven't posted to this day, um, is who, not how. And obviously for obvious reasons is that it recorded for half and then shut off the, the, uh, audio wasn't working for whatever reason. I don't know what happened. Still don't know. Um, haven't had that issue since and hopefully not having that issue again. Uh, but yeah, in the end, like if you want to get, want to get started on something, you want to start playing pickleball and I bring up pickleball quite a bit. Um, but like you want to get started in pickleball, like go to target and get a borrow, a pa borrow a paddle, go to target to get, we got a two pack for 20 bucks. I know that you can spend like a bunch of money on it you can get wristbands, all this stuff and get all this gear. And you can wait for all that before you start to go play, or you can go out and just play and decide if you like it or not. Like it's, it's that simple where, where we, we do this in our, our daily, daily lives. And I still do. I catch myself doing it all the time. Like, Oh yeah, I'll, I'll get that done. But first I got to do this. Like it's, it's a challenge. It, it's a challenge. So if nothing else, you get nothing else from this. Um, just, just don't let the start stop you. Uh, don't let any, any, like any of the minutia get in the way. And I encourage you absolutely to share your story. There's people out there, you know, one of my, my favorite quotes, um, let's see, uh, uh, Russell Brunson, I actually put it in my, in my book because it's, it's so good. And I'm going to read it cause I don't want to, uh, don't want to butcher it, <clears throat> but basically it says you have the ability and I believe the responsibility to serve others with your gifts, whatever they are. There are people today who need what you have and they're just waiting for you to find your voice so you can help them change their lives. What a tragedy for them if you don't find your voice now. So I'm saying this to you because I know that you have a story. You have, there's someone out there that is, is counting on you to share with them. And so I encourage you to do that and I encourage you to not let the start stop you. So hopefully, um, I, I see some, and anybody who has podcasts out there, please put them in the comments. I'd love to go see what you guys are doing, see what your story is about, see what you guys are about. And, uh, and I'd love to, to see that shared with, with everybody. So I will let you go on this one and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great one.